I'd like to thank Ridge for sponsoring today's video. If you're looking for something to get your significant other, your friend for Christmas, check out these Ridge wallets. You can save up to 30% by using the code DBW. I put the link in the description below. They also have available these key case, this little coin holder or key holder, whatever you want to use it for. These things are RFID protected. Uh, they hold up like 12 cards. They come into several options on the style that you like. If you want to be slim and cool, get you one of these right here. And thanks again to Ridge for sponsoring today's video. Hey, look what we're into today. An old Alice Chalmers 8030 cab tractor, two wheel drive. Don't know how long it's been sitting under the barn. Don't know when the last time it was started was. But I asked the man if I could come out here and give it a try, and he told me, yeah, go ahead and get all I wanted. But this is a pretty good size tractor. Uh, 18 4 36s, 36 or 38 on the rears. We'll get up there in the cab in just a minute, see what it is to it. I don't think we got to worry about any wasp. You know, I think Alice Chalmers actually read, and I think I might not can do this one-handed. I can't stand by. I try the other side. Got to get inside. It's got a key in there. I can see it from here. Might have to climb through that. I don't think I'll make it through that. I think that's... Uh... Hey, I might even have to... There we go. Now we're doing something. I just wonder if these are the keys. I'm going to tell you, that was a challenge for me to get in here. I don't see an hour meter. I mean, I see an hour meter. But it looks like the numbers. Let's see if I can get this door open. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's got some steps over here. This would be a lot easier to get out of. But anyway, it's a, it had air conditioning. The inside the cab is not real bad. Got some battery cable ends. Oh, that right. Radio over there. Surround sound, probably. The uh, man that operated, the man or woman that operated this, love Winston cigarettes. There's one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> There's five empty packs down here, probably more. There it is. It looks like it's a six speed. Just one reverse. This thing will probably start right up. He talked like it would. All right, let's get down and check the oil, check the vitals. All right, let's see what this oil looks like. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's a little low. No, it's right on the air. Perfect. Oh, yeah. I think they got water in it. This thing's about ready to bust off. 
All right, let's check out the batteries. So we got oil checked, fuel checked, water checked. I've stalled as long as I can. We're gonna have to put a battery in there and crank it up and drive it. And then we'll have this Alice Chambers 830 ready to go. I'm sure it's for sale. You can email me. You can email me and let me know what you think it's worth. Some people won't price their stuff. Uh, if you're looking for one, maybe make an offer on it. Yeah, this thing's going to pop right off. Let's see what it'll do. <laughs> uh, I just crawled in here just to see if the... Uh, let me see how to turn these fans off. There it is. This thing's going to start with the battery that's in it. I don't know when the last time they started it, but here we go. All right, well. Ether. Maybe that was it. Maybe those screwdrivers was the starter button. All right, I'm in neutral, park, just don't want it to run over me, let me get out, let's see about this, looks like that's it. I think the battery is. I think the battery held, but it's just hadn't been sitting there so long that it is dead. So I, I am gonna get to tote some batteries. How about that? All right. I got my battery in, went nothing to it. Let's see if that did anything. Boy, this looked promising just for a minute. I got it all hooked up and still. Get the same thing. Well, I've been doing this about 10 minutes. I've got three batteries hooked to it. I'm sure I'm on the right lobe. It's just not doing what it's supposed to do. 
I'm not even, uh, just, I may have to take the starter off. Okay. Well, I'm going to take the hood off now. So I can get to the starter real good. Let's see? Pretty simple task. Pretty simple task. Now I can get to the starter and see how difficult that's going to be to get off of. This is where it's going up to its new. I can lay my hands on it and I'll drive that. A little spacer. I don't see anything matter with it. I don't see anything wrong with it. That's why you need to take it off before you do that. I thought I could do it. But these are the two that I've got to hook back up with that. Alright, I get it. This goes to his homemade switch and this comes from his old switch. I, matter of fact, I've got uh, that crimping tool and everything. So, uh, that's okay. Always got to take a shortcut. All right, I'm just gonna make sure the engine is is free. Oh, good gracious, alive! Yeah, that starter, that starter, uh, just bit the dust right there. I mean, it probably just needs cleaning, and it'll it'll be okay. Right, I've got the ground hooked up to it. Let's see what it'll do. That ain't going to turn nothing. That's starter supposed to do faster than that, right? All right. Well, it makes me feel better and it don't make me feel better, but right, we're going to go get it checked out. All right, we got the starter fixed. It was a solenoid, $100 what it cost to fix it. But it should it should start it right up. I uh, got the battery charged, and I got me some help today. <laughs> I don't know how good it is, but I got me some. This is my grandson, John Luke. 
Can you tote that? See if you can pick that up. Don't drop it on your foot now. Your mama be mad. Huh? It's heavy. I'm gonna say how good a cameraman you are. <laughs> All right, let's see. I put these back in there where I wouldn't lose them. Let's see. Whoops. I put them right in the way. Right, and I'll come over. He has He has put the It's always something. He, uh, he got this part. Well, John Luke, <laughs> looks like we're going to have to go back to the starter shop with this thing. He put this on wrong. This this is supposed to be flipped over. We didn't have good luck. You didn't bring any good luck today, I can tell you that. All right, let's get it back. First of all, I want to apologize to the starter man. He had it right to begin with. We we went back and looked on the uh, old video and and the and it was sitting like this. So one more time. <laughs> one more time. That kind of feels like it's supposed to be. That's a lot of wires. We're going to get to do this after all. I thought I had it, but I didn't. Oh, boy. I think I got it that time. Let me go get a wrench. All right, how about get me in that toolbox, slide it back. Don't step off of it. Just come on. All right. Perfect. Uh, I believe it was three quarters. Pretty sure that's what it was. Let's go over here and see. Yep. That's what it was.
Okay, how about holding that for me there, young man? Uh oh. Oh. Get that one started. I'm gonna have to get the <clears throat> Is this thing gonna start? Hmm? Sir? Sir? Is this gonna start? I think so. I think so. Or if it didn't do anything wrong. Or if y'all didn't. <laughs> Are you? <coughs> what about you? You could have done something wrong. You're holding the camera. Always blame it on the cameraman. Not always. Yeah. Why? Because. I got a We'll get it. It's going to tighten up in a minute. It just won't right now. There it is. All right. Okay. Starter's on. That's supposed to. Okay. That should go there. That should go there. I believe this. I go here, I tore this one off, I believe. I believe that one goes there. And there was a white one. I believe it's a, I believe it's a hot one too. I would look and recheck my uh, video to make sure, but I believe that's right. When I, Took this off before I didn't have the right nut driver and I dropped it and uh, it pulled it pulled these little plug wires off but I'm gonna put some new ones on it and hook it up. These are little old cheap wire cutters, but they'll get you out of a bind. What I don't see is the battery. Um, it would 
have to have this for sure. There's the ranch I was hunting with. Trying to boat <laughs> with right there. It was looking at me the whole time. <laughs> Always. Okay. started turning uh, now let's figure out which one of these wires hook the pump up over there it makes the pump these go to the starter button here in the cab they put on there this one that turns the you hear the pump turning on that turns the pump on that's what that is. Okay. Thank you. We got on the side. Let's see what it'll do right here. The sun, now, yeah, go to the other side. Sun's in right there. <laughs> They do have a wire hook to it. Maybe the, like the solenoid is off a little bit. Okay, John Luke, hit it. Okay, hit it. Hit it and hold it. Okay, it's locking. Hit it and hold it. Switching on. All right, that's what's switching it on. Okay, good deal. All right, I'm going to hook this up where the kind of stay on all the time. Uh, we should have the fuel switched on. Uh, let me get some ether. I knew I'd seen a can somewhere. <laughs> it was in the front seat. If I can find that thing. There it is. Do you want to go back over there? Or? Oh, I smell something smoking. I smell something smoking. I do too.
That switch may be bad. Like you start sparkling and you keep it on. Yeah. We're just going to tighten up that wire and uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I thought you said this was going to be easy. I don't think I did. Oh. And I'm gonna need you to pull that trigger when I tell you to pull it. And when I say let go of it, just let go of it, okay? okay. Don't don't worry about anything. All right, pull it. Ooh. All right, just keep turning it. Come on, hold it down. Hold it down. Hold it, hold it. It wanted to crank, didn't it? It did. Are you standing away? Uh, have you got a run this? Don't. Oh boy. All right. Now, hit it. There you go. Like a sewing machine. All right, John Luke, give it the goods. <laughs> that thing runs good, don't it? fun if you don't get to drive them, John Luke. Push that where it's got one or two. Push it forward. Push. Oh, oh, come back down. That's good. Right there. All right, you ready? Don't go that way. Go this way. That was the clutch. So is this your first time driving a big tractor? Well, don't cross your arms up. Don't run into the man's bar. You do good.
Think about that. Huh? What do you think about that? We caught something in, didn't we? I was gonna get in the picture again. You just keep going straight, don't run into the building. There you go. Just like that. thing is you don't hit Pop's trucks over there. That's the main thing. We can fix the fence. We can buy him a cliff turn this way. We figured this old Alice Chambers would run. They just parked it under the shed. And they use it every now and then. Uh, I think they got the wires probably hooked up on the starter where they was trying to get the you can see right here they put another switch in here it may have got a wire touching and burnt that solenoid up We got her doing. Will it start? Yes. Will it run? Yes. Hey. I enjoyed it, John Luke. <laughs> Was that a victory celebration? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got it all buckled back up. Uh, wasn't really a hard... Will it start just changing that starter, getting the wiring situated? Uh, this is for sale. I don't know what he wants for it, but he would sell this one. He, he would sell the white, the one that we started earlier, and the little international. So if you're interested in it, just uh, my email's in the description below. I will hook y'all up and uh, see if y'all can get a, get a deal. You know, it runs good. Sounds good. Probably make somebody a pretty good little old tractor. <laughs>